Welcome to our final edition of the Gridiron Show. Coach, thank you for joining us. Hope your fans have enjoyed the time that we've got to visit with uh, Coach Luttrell this season and talk about football. And it's a fun one this weekend, homecoming, senior day, a uh, bittersweet one as mm -hmm. well. Uh, how excited are you for the uh, the final home game and the final game of this regular season? Well, it's going to be sad to hang up the cleats, you know. I mean, it's a seems like it just was yesterday, you know, that we uh, got started. And so uh, it's going to be sad to see 14 seniors, you know, leave the program that really helped make strides over the last two years. And so it's um, it'll be a tough day, you know, but I guess that's that's what football does, you know, and then it's on the recruiting. So really there's no time, you know, no rest for the weary. You mentioned recruiting, and obviously you want to hit the road with at least a 500 record. So how important is Saturday to accomplish that, finish 5-2 and two in conference, second place with a, a 500 record? Yeah, no, I think it's good. I mean, after starting out 0-3, you know, with a tough non-conference schedule, you know, and including an FCS Division One team that we played in there, if we can go 5-2, and two, you know, in conference, you know, I mean, that's what we're preaching, you know. And also, I mean, we have a chance to break probably every statistical record, you know, offensively here at Waldorf this season. So, uh we got a lot to build on, a lot to go out and a uh, lot to be proud of. Uh, offensively, number one team in the conference in offense, number one team in the conference in rushing. Uh, I think you're second in scoring. Obviously, it's been a phenomenal season on that side of the ball. Uh, how happy are you with the way the guys have performed and can yeah. they keep it up this weekend? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, uh, we got a little rain coming this way, so that stinks. But, no, I mean, uh, hey, the goal is after this weekend to be number one in all those categories. Uh, you know, we're not very, you know, we should be number one in scoring offense, rushing offense. I mean, passing off, passing efficiency, we're number one already by a long shot, you know, which is very important, you know. And so, and when you're talking conference play, I mean, conference play, it's not even close. So, uh, and, uh, but it's not about that. I mean, those are nice to have and stuff for the kids. They get to hang their hat on that stuff, you know. But, and it does help us in recruiting, though. I mean, if you're a receiver and you want to come where they're, somewhere they're throwing the ball for 300 yards a game and, or you're a running back and they're you know you're running for over 200 a game i mean that's a good that's a good selling point it's, a, it's kind of a good thing because you're doing both <laughs> yeah and that and that's you know urban meyer i'm not a fan of ohio state you know coach jerome will be mad at me but um but he he, he said one time you know he said uh, we want to get good at both and um you know we're going to be able to throw the ball and we're going to be able to run the ball he said defenses can come into a game and he can they can work on stopping one but they can, if they if they stop one they can they stop the other you know, if they if they're good enough to stop both, then you're just not your day. You know, but a lot of times in college football, they can't stop both, and so our goal each week is to be good at both of them, so we have an option. This season has been a, a very memorable one. Uh, you had the trip down to Stetson, playing in Division One school, uh, the win over Dickinson State, their first loss in three years in conference. Is there a moment that you're going to look back on and relish the most out of this year? You know, probably. Unfortunately, in our business, you know. We, we, you worry about the losses more than you did the wins. And there's a couple losses in there that, uh, you know, you take one play back and it's the other way. And so um, those are the ones that hurt, you know, the most and that you'll drive on until you play that opponent again a year from now. So, but we can learn from that. And we talk to our team all the time about you can learn a lot more from failure than you can from, you know, succeeding. And uh, I truly believe that. It just it's painful, but uh, hey, that's why you play the next one and go on, and we try to you know keep a clear head moving forward. Let's talk about the next one, Mayville State, a team you guys had a tough road trip. Uh, you got to the game late, and yet you went out on the field and maybe one of your best uh, showings of the season up there, start to finish. Yeah, we we started out slow though. Uh, uh, started out, excuse me, not slow, sloppy. Uh, penalties, uh, ejection from the game. I mean, just. Ridiculous. That was the worst game we played all year from a statistical standpoint. Uh, we had, I think we had 15 penalties for 187 yards. I mean, that's ridiculous. And so that's something that we're really going to focus hard on this week of cleaning that up, you know, and uh, we're still talking fundamentals and little things, uh, you know, the last game of the season because we believe that's important. Talk about uh, the emotion of this game. It's senior day. It's homecoming. Do you have a plan to get that out of the kid's mind, or will that be something that rides in the game for the first few plays or the first quarter? You know, this is, I mean, I tell the kids, I mean, this we owe it as a team to everybody that's came before them 
um, you know, that here at Waltham uh, to perform at a high level, um, to represent them at a high level in a first class way. And so it's just another football game for us. I mean, there's no, you don't prep, prepare any different or anything like that. I mean, you practice, you go to work and, you know, I mean, but we owe it to the people that have came before us, you know, and uh, to give it, you know, to put on a good show and uh, represent this, uh, this university in the way it should be represented. Looking at Mayville, you've seen them, you know what they do. Is there anyone you're keying on? Is there a facet of the game that you need to shut down to be successful? Yeah, you know, um, our defense has been playing really well all year except for third down. And so we got to do a great job of getting off the ball on third down. They play great on first and second down. We really do. And um, so we, if we, we, we got to stop their, their little sniffer back, their running back guy, you know. I mean, they run this little wing tee deal now. Got to stop him. Got to stop that quarterback. He's a good player. Uh, and then they got a receiver that's uh, that's 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 really good. And so uh, you know you got to contain him. So uh, we got to play great defense if we want to be in this game. Now Bo Hilton uh, Joseph has been phenomenal the last couple of weeks. The offensive player of the week. Uh, do you expect him? I know he is academically a senior. You expect him to have a big day on what could be his final game for a Warriors? Yeah, you know, that's going to, uh, as of right now, he's planning on, you know, we're going to hang it up, and his parents are coming up to be here this weekend for him and um, and everything, and so um, he's he's outstanding. Uh, he's like a, He's got the the brightest IQ I've ever been around in 21 years, you know, and, and, and then he's a great athlete on top of it, so um, usually that's a pretty good weapon. So, yeah, it's going to be tough to watch him uh, get out there and roll, you know. I mean, he's playing injured, you know, right now, too, and um, and so I hope he can make it through the game and because he deserves it. I mean, he's the best player in the conference on offense, in my opinion. So um, and when we're going to make a push for him, uh, you know, next week when we vote all conference awards. Well, three times the conference player of the week. Uh, obviously, yep. he's kind of proven that on the field that yep. he's, if not the best, at least in the argument. Yeah. Uh, Want to remind you, fans. Homecoming this weekend, Saturday, uh, you probably already know it, but 1 o'clock kickoff, some of the boys are playing Mayville State. We'll have senior day ceremonies before the game and then all the homecoming festivities at halftime. But come on out. Uh, it should still be a nice day, and it should be a great time to celebrate Warrior football after another great season. Appreciate your time, Coach. Hey, go Warriors.